uh, hi, uh, good uh, evening, good morning, good afternoon. Uh, uh, I'd like to get you a pleasant day. Okay. Lalo na sa mga kababayan natin dyan. Worldwide. So, welcome to uh, Tender TV Buyer Inspired uh, Basic Piano Lesson. So uh, this is going to be the introduction for uh, the lessons that we're going to be having. So it's going to be uh, the 24 right hand exercises, the 24 left hand exercises, and also the 43 lessons for both hands. Okay, once again, uh, I'd like to welcome you all to... Uh, Thunder TV free buyer inspired basic piano lesson and uh, this is going to be composed of uh, 24 uh, right hand exercises and the uh, 24 left hand exercises and then for both hands it's going to be 43 exercises okay Alright, so this basic piano lesson is intended for all ages, as long as you are willing to learn. Okay, and uh, for parents, please uh, guide your children on how to do the lessons. There are some basic requirements, of course. Uh, piano or a keyboard, a computer or cell phone or a laptop or a desktop where you can view your YouTube video okay, for the lesson. And of course, uh, internet connection. And uh, I would suggest uh, at least 30 minutes to one hour of training a day. Okay. So, uh, what will you basically get from the uh, free basic piano lessons? Of course, this is totally free. Okay. Uh, this lesson, of course, is at your own face. Uh, you'll get to know and learn the uh, 24 left and right hand exercises and the four 43 exercises for both hands. Of course, you'll also learn musical terms, read and write musical notes, and later on, learn to play your favorite songs. And by the way, this is a buyer inspired piano lesson. So this is uh, made uh, or introduced by uh, Alexander Bayer uh, back in 18th century. Now, uh, this chart is uh, for you to be able to know the uh, corresponding notes on the piano. So. You can be able to always go back to this uh, page and see uh, if you'd like to know where uh, the uh, location of uh, the notes. Say for example you don't know the G on the uh, lower, uh, lower, uh, lower portion of the treble, uh, treble clef. Say for example this G, you don't know how it looks like. This is the G. Okay. It's a space, uh, a space note. It's on the space, and this is a line note. The next one, the A, is a line note. Okay. So we're not going to be uh, focusing more on this. So let's go on to the next uh, slide. So let's go back to how to read the notes. Okay. How to read the chart. Uh, okay, for the uh, for the musical uh, chart, of course, the chord chart, uh, you have the stuff. Okay, so it consists of five lines and uh, four spaces. So you have the lines there: one, two, three, four, and five. And then the spaces between the lines. So one, two, three, four spaces. And uh, a 
above the staff, of course, we're in. There's no more lines when you extend writing the notes. You have to put the uh, additional lines. These are called uh, ledger lines. Okay. It's either yeah, uh, above or the lower, okay, where you put lines on the notes that you need to uh, add. Say, for example, like this. Okay. So you make shift, and those are the ledger lines that you put in there. Most, well, uh, for the basic piano lessons, we're going to be using uh, the G clef. Okay? You'll be able to familiarize yourself and reading the G clef. Okay? This is G clef, all the notes in the G clef. Okay? Now, uh, uh, if we're going to be proceeding with the G clef, Okay, so there are uh, five lines, right? The e, G, B, D, F. So that's the acronym for every good boy does fine or every good boy deserves fries. Uh, you can do both. Okay? So just to uh, be able to learn uh, the uh, basic keys on the... Uh, uh, line notes, okay. So that's gonna be E, G, B, D, and F. So okay, those are E, G, B, D, F. That's it, okay. And for the uh, Space notes. We have the F. The first space is F. Then the second space is A. The third space is C, and the last space is E. So uh, if uh, you read that, that's going to be face. Just for you to be able to put in mind that the first space is F, and then A, C, E. F G A B C D E. So F A C E. Uh, those are your space. Uh, the notes on the spaces on the stuff. Okay, so much for that. So let's go to the next slide. Okay. So uh, in this uh, slide. The intention is for you to be able to learn the ideal piano posture. So, so as not to put the stress on your shoulders, uh, the ideal is to sit straight, okay, uh, at least uh, 90 degrees level when you put your place on the keys, uh, your hands on the keys. At least 90 degrees, okay? That's the ideal. And then, proper placing of the hands, of course, uh, this is how you place the hands on top of the key keyboard, okay? Uh, like this. Now, your your fingers uh, should be numbered, so I would suggest that uh, you place your uh, you know uh, finger on a paper and then you trace you trace your hands okay yeah. get a pen trace your hands and then uh, put a number one two three four five so you will, will remember that uh, those are the numbers for your fingers for the left hand for the right hand goes the same way. So, get a piece of paper, put it on the piece of paper, and then you trace it, okay, trace your hands, and then put a number on it. One on the thumb, two on the forefinger, then the middle finger, and the ring finger, four, and the uh, pinky, that's going to be the five. So, uh, you have to have your uh, fingers marked and numbered, okay? That's another way of, you know, uh, remembering that in playing the piano, your, uh, your fingers are numbered.
basic uh, uh, lessons that we're going to be uh, uh, learning is covering uh, the uh, mark the keys on the keyboard. Okay. So for the right hand, the one on the uh, red dots, uh, that's going to be what you learn when you uh, study the right hand uh, exercises and then the one on uh, I think this is green is it green or blue? okay so this colored uh, keys right here okay. this are gonna be for the left hand uh, uh, these are the keys that you will uh, remember when you practice the left hand exercises and for both hands uh, of course this is going to be the same case that you're going to be using only there are going to be some extensions on the left or on the side on the right okay, but basically you will uh, on your both hands you're going to be utilizing all these keys okay right in there the two octaves that you have there so uh, you have the middle C uh, well well, question is, uh, if I have a short keyboard, where should I place my right hand? Yeah, simply, uh, there are uh, in a f uh, in a short keyboard there are at least five octaves. Okay, so you count uh, three octaves from uh, the left. Oh, sorry, from the right. So from this part. So one. Uh, this is the C, so one, and then another C, two, and then another th C, that's three. That's where you start with your right hand, okay? And then on your left hand, the following C. That's falling under the middle C. So if you have a short keyboard that's roughly around five, uh, five octaves, you still have uh, a little portion over here, or up until here. Or you have, if you have a, a 60 keys keyboard, you have up until here. So uh, that's how you know. Okay, so just count three octaves from the right of the keyboard, and that's where you place your right hand on that C. Okay, uh, starting on this C, and then, uh, of course, for your left hand, that's going to be the following lower octave. There you go. So, so much for this. Now let's go. So uh, the focus of the exercises uh, that are in the keys, uh, that are the keys with the green mark. Okay. So for the left hand exercises, and of course for uh, the uh, right hand. Those are the ones uh, with the left. All right. Now, remembering uh, musical notes and symbols, of course. Uh, again, the five lines and the four spaces. We call them the stuff. Okay. Now, for the uh, bass clef, that's uh, that's basically used for the left hand. And uh, the treble clef, that's uh, the notes that are being played on the right hand. And right, you see numbers somewhere on the chart, say 2 4, that's the time signature. And the double line, okay. And then also you will see the notes. Uh, the one that is not shaded and no tail that's the whole note this one is the half note okay uh, by the way the count for the whole note is one two three four and okay so it's four counts for the whole notes when I say end or up uh, you lift your you lift your finger on the key uh, or you release the note 
the uh, the key. Okay. And the half note that's two counts. So one, two, up. And the dotted half notes uh, that's one, two, three, up. The quarter note that's one. And the eighth note that's uh, quite uh, a little bit faster than quarter note. So uh, two quarter notes, uh, two eight notes. That's one quarter note. Then this is the whole rest, where there are no notes will be played when you see this quarter rest. So uh, uh, there's gonna be a rest uh, for a quarter time. The eight rest. So if there are eight notes. There's gonna be one is not gonna be played. The one count. Half rest. So uh, just two counts, All right? But uh, no notes will be played. And then this is the uh, flat. Uh, it's symbol for B uh, for flats. Of on the uh, uh, it's sometimes uh, well it is placed on the staff. If certain portion, a certain line, or a certain uh, position is a sharp or flat or a sharp this is a sharp and uh, this is going back to natural uh, say for example F is a sharp and then when you put it to natural you place a symbol like this all right so much for this let's go to the next one all right so this is for remembering the kinds of notes okay Alright, so uh, let's go to remembering the kinds of notes, okay? So what we see on the uh, screen, this on top are the whole notes, right? And uh, we're going to be playing that part first, okay? This part first. So, these are whole notes, okay? Just for you to be able to familiarize the counting for the whole notes. And again, the second, uh, that's gonna be for the that and half of notes, okay? Let's do the first one first.
up. up. Okay. So, so what we have here is one, one two, two, one, two, one, two, two one, two. two. All right. So, so let's, let's do, do it. it. Thank you for, for watching. watching.